Hi guys, I wanted to show you uh, a visual representation of a model of, a, of an operational amplifier. So in, the, in every circuit, it's kind of an online simulator. Um, they have an operational amplifier, which is just sort of a generic guy. It, it obeys the model that we talked about in class, where the output is some open loop gain, which is given here as 1,000, 100,000 kilovolts per volt. That's not right. It's 100,000 volts per volt. Um, 10 to the fifth. So it's on the, something like a 741. Um, and uh, the nice thing I like about this guy is that it it sort of lets you visualize what the current flows are going to look like. So if we make, for example, um, a non-inverting amplifier, where we connect the input to the non-inverting input, we tie the inverting input back to uh, the junction between these two resistors, and then we make a divider like so. And then let's go ahead and connect this guy to ground. <clears throat> and I've got the voltage source set at uh, 3 volts. Let's dial it back down to 1 volt, say. And let's run it and see what it looks like. So you'll notice that um, the output is 2 volts. And with a gain of 100,000 volts per volt, that means that the, the uh, voltage difference between these two inputs is going to be like 10, like 20 microvolts, I think, is what it's going to boil down to. 20 microvolts, very, very tiny voltage difference. Um, so they're essentially equivalent. I've got one volt here, and I've got one volt minus 20 microvolts uh, here. So indistinguishable, essentially, from one volt. Um, and of course, in order to do that, to make this point one volt, we need a milliamp of current flowing through this guy. But since no current flows through this input, there's also a milliamp in this guy. And that means the output has to go to 2 volts to produce that milliamp. Now what I like to do when I think about the stability of an amplifier is, is imagine what happens if the output just goes up a little bit. Let's say it goes up 1 millivolt. That's going to bring this voltage up a half a millivolt. But, but that, you know, as soon as this inverting input goes up even a microvolt, the output's going to go down. So the act of the output going up is going to force the output to go down. So the feedback, this feedback, uh, pushes the system to this condition. It does whatever it has to to make this, to satisfy this condition. And that's what makes the thing stable, essentially. So uh, let me do one other configuration. Let's stop this one. And let's look at the inverting, ver <coughs> the inverting version of the same uh, set up. So I'll cut these wires and um, let's go ahead and delete this guy, delete this wire. I'm going to put in another resistor and this time I'm going to put it in the um, inverting configuration. So we'll go this way, this way. This guy's going to come back to the inverting input and this guy now is going to be grounded. So I'll bring the ground up here and connect the non-inverting input to ground. This is now an inverting configuration. Um, let's run that. And you can see here that uh, the output is minus 1 volt. This uh, node here is 10 microvolts. So that means it's, it's going to be 10 microvolts above ground. This guy's at 0 volts. So, and how do, why is it 10 microvolts? Well, it's because it's 100,000 volts per volt. But, so this is essentially ground. This is a virtual ground. For all practical purposes, we can think of it as ground. We have a one volt, one volt source here, and it's dropping one volt across a thousand ohms. That gives us a milliamp of current. But that current has nowhere to go because it can't go in here, so it has to go through this resistor. The output must be negative one volt in order to produce that one milliamp draw. Now, the other thing that's interesting is, uh, let's see, what happens if this output goes up a little bit? Well, if this output goes up, it brings the minus up. That is going to push the output back down. So, so this is stable, okay? So it's a stable configuration. Uh, this is the inverting configuration. Anyway, I hope that helps. We'll talk to you guys soon.